Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Projection Technology Game Times 2 and 3. All right, so you know we had that big sale coming on um, tomorrow. Actually, it's tomorrow. Yes, the big sale coming tomorrow, the big Christmas sale. Um, keep in mind, this will be a sale on even the newer screen paints. And also, too, it will come with a 7x10 black blackout cloth for you to paint your own customized screen and free popcorn bags and of course free shipping anywhere in the world all right so as you know we've been doing these demonstrations with uh lamps hitting the screen showing exactly how amazing the technology is that we developed in ambient light projection and one of the things i'm going to show you on a demonstration done right and not half i can't stand watching half demonstrations so if you look at my lamps my lamps my screen's about 146 and the lamps are sitting right in near the center of the screen. They're not on the far end. When you do a demonstration where lamps are sitting on the far end, you're eliminating how much light actually needs to have contact with the screen. So you're working with the bare minimum. On top of that, you also can tell that if the lights are too dim, it will show up on the camera as a little brownish. And that will show that the lights are using, actually the lamps are actually equipped with low voltage light bulbs. So these are the kind of things I noticed when I watched demonstrations. Also too, my last demonstration, I used a lot of highlight videos with a lot of bright content. And this one, we're using a demonstration with a lot of dark content because uh, contrast fades faster in light than anything else. And the reason why that's true, because if that wasn't so, white projection screens would be able to produce better contrast when they can't. All right, so as you can see in the demonstration, my lamps are kissing the screen, as you can see, and they're not on the far end. They're not on the very far, very little bit far end of the screen. That's not, there's no point in that. If your technology is ambient light projection, or even if it's not ambient light projection, and you're trying to do the same challenge or demonstration or whatever, you should at least have your lamps right in the center of your screen. I can take this and I can move this anywhere along this screen and it's going to react. Also too, my screen's a little different from most people. I have LED lights on top of the screen and if you look at my environment, my environment is brighter than most, um, most um, uh, living rooms that you see on YouTube. Keep in mind that the condensed lighting, same amount of condensed lighting that's hitting the fireplace, it's the same amount of condensed lighting that's hitting my screen as you can see. All right, so first things first, we'll turn on our lamps here and here. You see how bright my lamps are, all right? And see that my lamps are not sitting on the far end. They're not sitting on the far end, barely touching the screen. They're right in the center of the screen where they're supposed to be. All right, and the measuring tape, of course, you heard that. My measuring tape for the wall all the way up here, we are sitting at 14 feet back from the screen. All right, and we have quite a bit of lighting in the environment. All right, so you can see it's not dark around the screen in any way whatsoever. Everything is nice and bright as it should be. Now, let's take our projector off blank mode. All right, and we're gonna do all dark content. See, in those demonstrations, they're going to have the light positioning where it's going to be comfortable to the screen, but it's going to give off a somewhat of an effect that is taking on ambient light when it really isn't. It's taking on some ambient light. Just saying it's not taking on any. But it's taking on some ambient light, but not at the level on how we do it. If you're trying to match what we're doing, you have to do it the same way. Those lamps should be in the center of that screen. And if you look at my surrounding area, it is nice and bright. It's not dark, it's not shadowy like around the screen. Keep in mind there are LED lights over top the screen. I think they keep missing that part, that I have LED lights over top my screen and I have condensed lighting and contact with my screen. I think they forget that part. I'm going to show it to you again. This time we're going to use dark content. And as you see, my lamps are not on the far end, just barely on the edge of the screen, right in the center of the screen where it's supposed to be.
not going to have it in a comfortable position where it's going to be able to somewhat show what ambient light is supposed to, ambient light rejection technology is supposed to be. Using a dark contrast demonstration. That's what I want to go with. Like I said, contrast fades the fastest. And a lot of people go through that con their contrast fading on them in a fully lit environment. You can also see my dimmers are all the way up. My lights are all the way up. Now, I can pause it right here, right? And check this out. You can see the beads of sweat coming off the guy's back with all this light hitting the screen. This is a dark contrast. Now, I can take this lamp and I can move it over here. I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna switch them up a little bit. Keep in mind it's going to be a little far off because my uh, center speaker is right there. But I can move them anywhere I want and that image is going to show up right there. So now I got them moved a little farther over. Bring them this way so I don't break my lamps here because my wife likes these lamps. Right there, okay. Now we got them in the middle of the screen. I'm not going tippy toe. And I'm not going half the demonstration. I'm going to show you another color that fades out faster when it comes to uh, when it comes to bright ambient light, blue. Blue fades out extremely fast. My, my lamps are not sitting on the far end of the screen, on the edge, right in the center. lighting got overhead lighting right there
It's easy. This is what we specialize in. We specialize in ambient light technology. You know, and for someone to give us a challenge on this, are you kidding me? sit on the very far edge the lights are not going to sit on the very far edge of the screen that's just pointless That's one of the things I've been saying. I see a lot of demonstrations and they're halving it. And the reason why they're halving it because the screens, you're gonna half it as much as possible. So it looks like it's doing the job, but it really isn't doing the job. And here you are watching me do these demonstrations. My lamps are not sitting on the far edge. They're sitting right near the center of the screen. They're actually on the screen in the center, not on the very tip of the edge. I'm 14 feet back from my screen. You know, we don't really have to prove anything when it comes to our technology, it's that good. It's not hard for me to do demonstrations like this on this level. This is easy for us. Go back to my violin girl. Let me grab this one right here. here in my dining room sorry about the three floors I don't know what else more I can show you I really don't know how much more I can show what I can show you on here or what this technology does more could I show you? Some more contrast videos? Just do some more contrast videos. This shows you the confidence I have in my technology. Look at that. Condensed lighting. That's condensed lighting. Nail on the screen. 
All right, thank you all for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I am Kenneth from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Game Times 2 and 3. Thank you all for your time showing you the best when it comes to Ambient Light Rejection Technology. We are on